Uh, Alex Lee here, Alex Lee with MMA Fighting, here with uh, top featherweight contender Felicia Spencer. She fights Chris Cyborg on Saturday. Uh, Felicia, the one thing that really jumped out to me this week was at the workouts. I have to ask about the music choice. There's a Destiny's Child, Bootylicious, Jason Derulo, Trumpets, Outcast Roses. Uh, a little different than the usual, I think, Pump It Up music. Why, why those song choices? Um, for me, it's all about having fun, and I want to, I like to listen to songs and like when other people are going to be listening with me to just be like, oh man, I haven't heard this song for years and just like have fun with it, you know? And uh, yeah, that's why I picked those songs. Just just good throwbacks that I, that can make me kind of laugh. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm coming out to Bootylicious. Like, this is so ridiculous. But that's how I'll, that's how I have to get like loose and just be comfortable to be myself and start laughing. Uh, I think fans have seen that kind of like you can to show your personality a lot, especially on Embedded this week. You've kind of been one of the stars. Uh, there was a moment where they showed you kind of fangirling over Frankie Edgar, uh, getting to meet him. Why was it such a big deal to meet him? And have you been kind of getting starstruck, um, you know, in your, since you've come up to the UFC? Um, every once in a while, you know, I mean, I, I've seen so many just people I, you know, I've been seeing fighting for a long time. I mean, even in Invicta and, and with my last fight, I, you know, I've seen so many people. It's, it's an honor to be in the same room as but um, some people like Frankie just had you know I've, he's been around for so long and I've really always like he's one of those people that I always pulled for in all of his fights you know from the um, you know from the beginning of his UFC career I was pretty much watching and um, yeah it was just cool I always liked his, his demeanor you know that that means a lot you know I'm, a, I'm usually a fan of people who have a good good personality good demeanor too so uh, would you say your opponent this Saturday fits into that? She, she does a lot. She's uh, Cyber's pretty known for her, you know, outside of the cage, uh, good stuff she does. Uh, what do you think about her in that sense? Yeah, I definitely um, have a lot of respect for her, and I, I keep hearing she's a sweetheart, you know, and I kind of don't have any reason to say she's not, so I feel the same about her. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I had to ask about from Bed, it was kind of this weird moment where they showed that, unfortunately, you found out you were on a foot fetish site or something like that. Uh, what other kind of weirdness and like odd fan interactions have you had to deal with since again, as you've become more of a, of a star? Um, you know, it's kind of just been like more of the same kind of stuff. Like, I mean, there's obviously like always creepy messages and um, there's always been like people who want to fight me for money, like just random dudes that, hey, I want to fight you. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> um, there's always guys? Um, yeah, yeah. Usually girls are like, I want to train with you. And then the guys are like, come grapple me. <laughs> like, I want to fight you. They're like, uh, my fiance, sometimes I'm just like, here, you can answer him whatever you want. And then he'll be like, uh, you know, 10 grand, meet me at the gym on Friday. And then they never show up, of course. So it's funny. Well, okay. I hope this stuff's not too distracting. I said, you have a huge fight on Saturday. Um, Everyone talks about the division, like relying on Cyborg. But you know, if you win, I mean, you probably become the big, the big featherweight star with with Nunez. Do you think that you can be the one to save it, kind of like Henry Cejudo did with the, with the flyweight division? I can definitely see myself being the face of this division. Um, for me, right now, Chris Cyborg, I feel like still it has the like the, the recognition, and the, she is like the face of the featherweights, even though she's not the champion anymore. So taking you know a win over her would definitely put me in that position. Okay. And the last thing I want to ask, kind of mentioning Frankie again, you know, he's fighting the main event. I'm not sure if you'll get a chance to watch it, but uh, do you have any thoughts on the main event? Are you looking forward to it and, and how it might play out? Yeah, I mean, I, I love uh, both of the main event uh, players, but I'm definitely pulling for the underdog in this one. You know, I feel like we're on the same, you know, kind of on the same side. We're both underdogs and it would be really cool to see another victory from Frankie.